Hi guys, got a question from Yannick Alain as to why I don't use button cells instead of supercapacitors on my little aeroplanes. Well, I don't want to go chasing aeroplanes over the countryside to try and demonstrate the difference. So I've got this little car that I rigged up a while ago for a different project. It's just a small electric motor on the back out of a toothbrush and a propeller. And actually I'll just change that one because I've used it. All I've done is I've pushed some pins in either side to make contact. So we'll cut a fresh one. Right one in, positive that side, negative that side. A bit of blue tack on it to hold it in place. I've got the supercapacitor on there at the same time, so we don't have any difference in the weight of the car. We'll just have a look and see if we can get it to go. This is just my kitchen worktop. So if we connect the button cell on. Well, it's trying to go. There's a reasonable breeze. It's not lasting very long, is it? It's running down already. I think the point I was trying to make in my reply to him is that the button cell, although it's a 3 volt button cell, it's not designed for high current usage. And to run an electric motor you need a comparatively high current. So even though it started off with the right voltage, the current it's supplying is not going to last long enough or be strong enough to actually get this running. So we've established it's not moving. So if we just push that out the way so it doesn't get caught on anything. Charge up the supercapacitor. Give it about 30 seconds. So twiddle your thumbs or something for 30 seconds while it counts down. That's about 15 seconds. I'm watching the timer on my camera, that's how I know how long it's taken. That's about 30 seconds. Unplug that. Sorry, that bit of wire is getting in the way and it gets caught under the car. Okay, so we plug the don't know if that's enough power to go on the floor. So that's the difference between a button cell and a supercapacitor. Right, power's run down now. Yeah. So what did we get? About 10 seconds of usable power? Something like that. That's all I actually want to get the plane into the air. Once it's up there it should glide. So there you go. That's why I use supercapacitors instead of button cells.
button cells just don't have the power. The other option would be a small LiPo and I have done quite a few of my small planes using the small LiPos. Hope that helps. One extra point before we go. You can have to replace that button cell every time you want to use it. The supercapacitor, I just recharge. 30 seconds of charge gives me certainly 10 seconds of usable power probably a little bit more than that as you can see it's been going now in fact that's been going for about two minutes now but there's not enough power there to actually fly the plane 